Life sometimes involves difficult situations and problems, especially when you are a fire and emergency service volunteer. During these times, your coping skills can help. There are all kinds of ways to cope, some healthier than others, but they fall under two broad categories, engaged coping and disengaged coping. Disengaged coping involves avoiding the problem and sometimes your feelings about it too. Some difficult situations can't be resolved and negative feelings may arise. This can be a normal reaction to a stressful situation. However, disengaged coping can be associated with further difficulty. Engaged coping strategies can help you connect with support, express your emotions and seek solutions when possible. So how do we practice engaged coping? Engaged coping is actively responding to the problem, along with your thoughts and feelings. Sometimes this can involve confronting the problem head-on and working towards finding solutions. You can also cope in an engaged way through expressing or communicating your emotions, which might also help you to understand the problem in a different way. Another engaged way to cope is through seeking social support, such as connecting with your friends and family. Practicing engaged coping strategies can help you confront and seek solutions, communicate and express your emotions, and connect to find support.